I wish you endless dreams of the sounds of children laughing and bird songs at dawn. I wish you to have the courage to find the passion of your dreams and pursue them one at a time. I wish you would allow yourself patience and forgive yourself of the past and forget what must be forgotten. I wish you to love yourself and never forget the adventure that lies ahead and is only a choice away. Life is a magnificent adventure. Bonjour, hello, it's Janice in France. Thanks for joining me today because I normally don't get to talk to you outside of the apartment and without the animals. So I just wanted to take this moment to be outside with you, to be among nature, and I just thought it would be kind of fun. The topic today is a little strange. It's about having fun, being silly, uh, enjoying the moment, and aging gracefully. And when I talk about aging gracefully in a few minutes, I'm not talking about getting plastic surgery or, uh, although I wouldn't mind doing that. But anyway, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about living in the moment and enjoying yourself and no negative words and just enjoy the moment for what it is. So I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I've enjoyed doing it and doing a little research for it because living in France keeps me young. I look in the mirror and what do I see? but a beautiful young lady growing gracefully with beautiful lines that tell a story of laughter and keeping a positive about the hereafter. Okay, I walk in rooms and forget why I'm there, but then I remember, it's okay, I'll find it somewhere. My libido isn't the same, they say, what I wouldn't give for a roll in the <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You've got to laugh about things. You've got to have fun. You've got to enjoy life. You've got to make fun of it. You've got to embrace it. Yes, I'm getting older. Yes, you're getting older. And I don't care whether you're 40, 50, 60, or 70. You're getting older. And it's okay. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy the time. Enjoy where we are. I think one of the reasons why France makes me younger is number one, the food. I think the food is fabulous. And you know, when you go to a restaurant, you don't get a big bowl of something. You get enough food that's going to fill you up. You don't have to take away a package or a box to go home because you've already finished your lovely meal. And that meal is made in the back in the kitchen. It isn't brought in with processed foods. It's very different here. And you know what else? I bet you if you took a bag of chips from France, even Lay's potato chips, and Lay's potato chips from the States, they would all read differently. One would probably read like a chemistry book <laughs> and the other one would be rather simple. It's amazing what they don't put in their food. And you know, I've always wondered why do French people don't have a huge refrigerator? Because they don't plan out their meals a week or two. They plan them out two or three days at a time. And you know what else you won't see? You won't see a lot of sodas when you go to a restaurant. You may see a glass of wine or a glass of water, but you won't see sodas. Sodas are normally used for parties and get togethers and special events. But when going out to dinner, it's usually wine or water. And you know another thing they don't do when it comes to nutrition? They don't snack. They don't snack, but you know what? If they do, 
they use something like this. <laughs> a healthy snack. Not something like a potato chip bag or a candy bar or anything like that. They just don't snack. They may have that cup of coffee or that cup of tea in the afternoon, but they're not going to snack on unnutritious food. If there is such a word as unnutritious. Love yourself. When you go outside and you walk down the street or you walk in the store, make sure your posture is just perfect. Make sure that you have confidence exhuming from yourself. Make sure that people recognize you. Now, you know, here in France, we wear lots of, lots of black items, but I love to wrap my neck around colorful scarves. That can portray my personality, even if I do have to wear black. It shows people who I am. Now, I'm not saying every day I'm like that, but I try my very darndest, and I always try to stand up straight because I want people to see me. You know, I go down the street and I always say, bonjour, monsieur, bonjour, madame. And I always seem to get at least nine out of 10 people. And because a lot of them are elderly like me and they realize that you have just said something to them and they're not being dismissed. You know, a lot of people after 65, they just get dismissed. We're invisible. But let's don't be invisible. Let's stand out in the crowd. Let's dress accordingly. And even if we want to put on a purple scarf and a yellow beret, let's do it because it's what we can do. You know, another reason I stay a little younger in France is because I don't wear a ton of makeup, but I wear a ton of cream. My routine in the morning to get up in the morning and I put on my cream and I put my lipstick on. I may not wear makeup that day, but I have on my cream. And then in the middle of the day, if I need a little more, I put a little more or maybe I put a little spritz on. And then at night, I lather my face with cream. And you know, I don't have to spend a fortune because why? I get all of it from the pharmacy. French people know how to spend money and they spend it wisely. Now, a lot of French women will tell you they don't get a nip and tuck. But I met a lady in the store the other day and she gave me a name of a lady that I'm going to go to. Now, when I say nip and a tuck, I don't mean I'm going under anesthesia, but I will be getting some Botox and I will be getting some fillers. That's just what I want. And I'll do that. Now, you may say, Janice, you don't need it, and that's okay. That's your prerogative. But I look in the mirror, and I see that I need it. And it isn't something that I haven't had before. And I'm so glad I ran into this woman the other day because she said, this lady is like top of the top. So that's who I want to go to. So I'm going to check her out in Paris. I may not just stay young from eating the right foods and laughing and making fun of myself and just having a ton of fun. I might look a little younger at the end of the year from having some fillers done. Another way I stay young is I pamper myself. Once a month or once every six weeks, I go and get a facial. And oh my goodness, they put that collagen and all that cream on you and get that oxygen in there and that blood flowing. And you just have this luminous skin. And you know what? It doesn't cost an arm and a leg like it did in the States. It only costs 60 euros for 30 minutes and 120 euros for an hour. I remember going in the States and it would cost me about 175 to 215 for the same thing here. And you know what is so good about the health system? If you find that you have arthritis in your shoulders or your back or maybe your hips, you can get your doctor to give you a prescription to go to a massage therapist and let them work on you and help you with 
your arthritis, and it's paid for. It's wonderful. And I'm telling you, when you have less stress, you live happier. You smile more. You have a better life. I love challenges. I am very competitive, but I like a challenge. When I go to Paris, it's a challenge. <laughs> it's a challenge getting there, and sometimes it's a challenge getting back. When I go there, I have to go from here to the bus, from the bus to the train station, from the train station to Gare de Lyon in Paris, go down under the stairs to the metro. And if I can do all that without having a problem with the train or a problem with me, and I make it back, whew, I feel good. I've used deductive reasoning. I have walked. I have stood, you know, strong and, and used my posture well. And I've challenged myself all day to be the best I can. I like a challenge. I think it keeps you young. I know one thing. My patience is so different here than it was in the States. You know, in the States, you might have someone at, at the register, maybe two registers, and maybe they're working with someone and they'll say, you know, we'll be with you in just a minute because they don't want you to get upset because you only have a certain amount of time there. And you just start getting anxious. And I, here, you don't worry about it. There's one person at the register and they'll get to you when they get through with the other person. And you just wait. And you can wait and you can be miserable, and you can wait and get angry, or you can just wait and say, you know what? This is life here. The more you smile, I do believe the younger you become and the younger you stay. I think that's why France makes me stay younger. And I do think I look young for my age. And not only that, I act young for my age, but I am embracing this age just like you should embrace your age, because it doesn't matter whether you're 30, 40, 50, 60, or more. Embrace that age. Make the best out of it. Do the best you can. Living life in France is good for me. Living life is good. If you've not subscribed, please do so. Click that little button so you know when I come on next. And I want to let you see at the very end, I met a gentleman today. He was a security guard at the gardens where I was taking pictures. And we talked for a while and he said his English isn't very good, but I thought his English was great. I was sitting at a cafe and I had a little bit of hot chocolate and heard some people next to me and they we're speaking English. So I kind of listened in. And then I said something to the server that brought me my hot chocolate. And they heard me speak English. And one of the men spoke up and said, you're Janice in France. And I said, I am. He said, you're the reason I'm here. And I said, oh my gosh. And his uncle and his, uh, his dad was with him. And his uncle was hurt in the explosion back in June here in Paris, it was a gas explosion. He was burned over 75% of his body. And I wanna give a big shout out to him and I hope he's getting better. He said his spirits were great, so that's a great thing right there. But they're here visiting him. The dad is from Australia and the son is from London. And we got to talking. So their pictures will be behind here and the security guard that I met. He was very kind to me. I don't think I was supposed to be taking pictures. But anyway, he let me. He was very kind also. I love meeting new people. And I like meeting you. Hi, everyone. Today is February the 1st and it is Reveal Day. You know, I've been talking about this for about two weeks and I've been sending out Instagrams and two more days, three more days. And then if you're part of my community, JaniceInFrance.com, you got to see the little email and what I was trying to reveal yesterday. So if you ever want to see anything that happens ahead of things or maybe some bloopers I don't put out on Instagram and I don't put out on YouTube, you might want to join my community. It's JaniceInFrance.com. And all you have to do is just say, 
join community. Also, there's a free PDF on there that you might want to pick up if you want to. I did it a couple of years ago or maybe a year ago. Oh goodness, I don't know. And it's about things you might want to know when you come to visit Paris. So as you know, since it's being reveal day, I thought I would gussy up a little bit. Boy, if that's not a Southern saying, never heard it. <laughs> and I put on my Chanel earrings and I'm wearing my S Deer dress. And I'm going to see if I can do something about these eyelashes because I really like to have long eyelashes. Do you remember the days, ladies, when we had long eyelashes? Well, if you do, I'm glad because I never had long eyelashes, ever. Never had long eyelashes. So if you had long eyelashes, kudos to you. My dog has long eyelashes. <laughs> That's the only person in this family that has long eyelashes. But I wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit while I'm putting on my makeup and having my first real cup of coffee. I've been working on the um, editing for the other video that you were just got through seeing. And my coffee got a little cold. Now, if you're interested, most of the time I do this on Facebook, but if you're interested, I use Clinique makeup. Anything around my eye, I use Clinique makeup. Now, on my face like that, anything like that. I can use another makeup. In fact, this is um, by Beckham, Victoria Beckham. And I use the same on my um, eyeshadow. I use the same thing as my eyeshadow as I do sometimes on my blush. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do. But most of the time I do. I like the kind of neutral color. Goodness, remember the days that we used to wear blue and green eyeshadow? Oh, my gosh. And, you know, when I was a kid, my eyes used to be green. And I'd always wear green eyeshadow to match those eyes. And then the older I got, my eyes turned to blue like my mom's. Because my dad had green eyes. Okay. So I think I'm going to take one more sip because I know it's going to wash off when I put on the lipstick. Charlene Tilbury, I love it. It stays on a long time too. But of course I got the um, pencil, that helps. Oh, and I wanted to show you this. Uh, isn't this cute? It's like a little... Leaf, I got that for my hairstylist for Christmas, and I thought it was kind of cute. And so I'm just going to brush the hair a little bit. For some reason, this side never wants to do what I want it to do. But anyway, okay, folks, we're just now seeing Janice's hair that doesn't want to be seen. Or heard, <laughs> or anything in between. So let's talk about this reveal. Okay. This reveal. Don't you love? This is by Morph, and I love the gloss. That's why I took one more sip of my coffee because I knew I wasn't able to. But look at my look at it. Can you see it? See how it's de deformed? <laughs> Max got to it. Okay, so let's go back to the reveal. I played around long enough. 
several months ago, I went to California and I met a woman named Elle and she and I just hit it off. And so after she was going around uh, in Greece for a while, she and I met up and she said she was going to be in Paris for a few days and then her daughter was going to leave. And I said, well, come on over and hang out with me at my house. So she did. We got along beautifully. So anyway, we got to talking and I told her that before the pandemic that I had started a business. Now, remember, I was living in the States and that I had started a business and I, I brought over a couple of ladies uh, to France and showed them around. I was never a tour guide, never said I was a tour guide, but I was kind of like a concierge. I kind of set up the itinerary for them. I went with them if they wanted me to. One lady one day wanted to explore the Louvre by herself, so she did. And the other lady, she and I kind of hung out and did some other stuff together. Oh, I remember the day the lady went to the Louvre is the day that we went to get a new phone because my friend who I took had her phone stolen on the train. So anyway, I remember that now. But we had such a great time, so I was going to do it again. And I had four ladies to bring back, and we were going to do France and Italy. Pandemic happened. So that didn't take place. Well, then after the pandemic happened, I moved to France. So when we were talking about all of this, because you know how you are at night when you're having a glass of wine or you're drinking a cup of tea or something like that. You just get to talking and telling everybody, you know, what's been going on in your life. And she said, oh, my gosh, Janice, I would love to do a business like that. And I said, really? And she said, yeah. And I said, OK. And I said, well, Mary Grace can help with the advertising. And what would you like to do? And she said, well, I would like to bring them to Fontainebleau so they can enjoy being here and you can see them and hang out with them and uh, we'll do some fun stuff here. And I thought, man, that's great. That is fabulous. And then I said, so what else are you going to do? And she said, well, I want to take them to Paris. And I said, well, of course. I mean, you know, you can't come to France and go to Fontainebleau and not go to Paris. So she uh, said, I think I would like to take them to Paris. What do you think? And I, so we just got to talking about it. And I said, well, honey, if it were me, I would put them on a hop on hop off bus because then they get to go around town. They get to see what they want to see. They get to get off. They get to take pictures. And it just hits the high spots. And then you can always go back later. And then, of course, the end of the day, you get to go on a river cruise. So we got to talking about that. And she said, well, let's go look at hotels here in Fontainebleau. So we did. Then she said, well, I'm going to leave a day early and I'm going to go into Paris. I have a couple of hotels I'd like to check out. And one is in the opera area. And I said, oh, my goodness, that would be fabulous because that's where the hop on hop off bus stops. And then you can go on the river cruise at night. And, you know, it's just a wonderful place. You have Galleries Lafayette. You can go on the top of Galleries Lafayette and uh, have the best view ever for free. And so we just got to talking about it. And then when she got back home, she called me one day and she said, Janice, would you be interested in kind of just hanging out with us and kind of showing us around and kind of mentoring me and maybe collaborating with me? And I said, of course I wouldn't. So we got Mary Grace to put up this beautiful page that if you go to my website, janiceinfrance.com, you will see what she's done. And she's done an amazing, amazing job. So it is a trip for women or women to bring their husbands or women to bring other friends or women to bring their granddaughters, whatever. Or couples, it doesn't matter. It's all written in everything on the website about the do's and the don'ts of what we pay and what we don't pay. And before I let you see the Zoom call that uh, Elle and I did make together, because you need to know who Elle is, <laughs> because if you look on it, it'll say, join Elle and Janice in France in Paris, <laughs> not Janice in France and Elle. So I want you to see who Elle is and I want you to meet her. So if that's not enough to pique your interest, I don't know what is. Thank you for joining me today. And wait a minute. Me and Elle on Zoom are getting ready to come up, and I'd like you to meet her. Bonjour. Hello. This is Janice and Elle, 
And today happens to be February the 1st. That's an exciting day, isn't it? It's a fabulous day. But let's give them a little bit of history before we reveal what the heck's going on. Well, Elle came to one of my meetups in July. It was July 3rd in Sonoma. Okay. In July in Sonoma. And uh, we met, just kind of became really good friends. And then she was coming out after taking her daughter to Greece and traveling around because she's done tons of traveling uh, in her years of early age. And um, she came out to visit me for a week. And then one night we got to talking and I told her about what happened to me during the uh, right before COVID that I had a little business going of bringing ladies over to the States and showing them around. And, you know, I'm not a tour guide and I wasn't even considered myself as a tour guide. I just kind of considered myself as a concierge and I would take them around. And, you know, the whole purpose of my job that I started out was to give people, give women especially, a little bit of courage that they wouldn't have on their own. Well, all of a sudden we got to talking about it and Elle said, what? I said, this is just so up my alley. I have wanted to do this. I have um, friends that are um, women of a certain age, I would say 50 and older, and we're not excluding men or kids or, or grandkids, but I would love to show them the experience of traveling. And a lot of times um, when you get past a certain age, you know, you're either widowed or you're empty nesters. And all of a sudden you get the adventure bug and you want to go see places, but you don't want to go on a huge tour and you don't want to go by yourself. So I always thought it would be great to have a small group up to eight people and uh, show them certain parts of the world. And I thought, well, what a better place than Paris because Janice is here and she knows Paris and Fontainebleau. And so she could definitely help out. Well, yeah, I think that's a good idea. If I don't get him to shut up, I'm going to beat him half to death. <laughs> and sure. may I say that I brought my passport because I'm so excited about this topic and I wish I had a baguette with me. But um... <laughs> I had enough baguettes when you were here two weeks ago. Oh, my gosh. And bread oh. and butter. But anyway, was... so you came up with this idea that you want to bring women, obviously, right now to France. We don't know what, yes. you know, what it's going to entail later on. So what we've kind of done is we've worked together and with her background and my background uh of traveling and also living here in Fontainebleau, we've kind of worked out an itinerary of one that I think will work and one that you agree that it's going to work. So we thought, well, why not just do it? So it isn't my business. It's yours. Yes. But I've been kind of a mentor. Maybe that's a good word. Right. A consultant. I've been kind of a mentor. A consultant. Consultant slash friend. Yeah. yeah. So I've been kind of sh telling you what I did before and what didn't work and what I did before that did work. And then when you said you wanted to bring them to Fontainebleau because we both love Fontainebleau, um, did you notice I didn't say blow? I said blue. <laughs> anyway. This is the way I had to pronounce it. <laughs> I know. So we both love Fontainebleau. When you said, you know, you would like to bring them here because they would get to experience a smaller town, a smaller town vibe and that kind of thing. And I thought, well, heck, I live here. I can show them around, you know. And by that time, I should have all my painting done and all this kind of stuff, decorating in my home. And I would love to have the ladies over, you know. And so we just kind of went from there to there. And then you're going to take them into Paris after how many days here in Fontainebleau? Three? Uh, three nights and about three, three and a half days. The best thing to be with like Napoleon's. Uh, castle and uh, the oh my gosh, get, getting facials at the Napoleon Hotel, 
um, where they have a pool and you can enjoy that, uh, going to the markets, having a picnic. And I thought it'd be really fun to have a proper tea at your house one of the oh, afternoons. Oh, I think so. I think that would yeah. be great. I wouldn't mind that at all. I may not have a place for everybody to sit down, but we can make do. We we will definitely make do. We will definitely make do. Now, when I just said that, it just dawned on me, how many people are you thinking of bringing or asking or what is your limit? My limit would be eight. Okay. Um, I, ideally four or more. And okay. um, I'm thinking, um, I would think the clientele would be mostly women. But if they have children over the age of 12 or if they have a spouse that they can go, come on, honey, take a break from work. You know, um, I think we would definitely be open to that. And um, uh, what I've done is um, lined up a couple of beautiful hotels. I've um, seen one here in Fonte. Yeah. I really liked it. You know what and, I really like more than anything is but, the chicken seeds. Oh, Yes. That was so cute. You can the, go out and feed the chickens in the morning. I mean, I, I mean, it's just something unique. I mean, Fontainebleau is a small town. It's not like a metropolis. And I just thought that was kind of neat that they even offer that. Oh, it is big. I mean, it was a couple of weeks ago. It's freezing cold. This big, beautiful fireplace and this lovely bar where you can get an appetizer and coffee or a cocktail. It was wonderful. The rooms were wonderful. And then when I said goodbye to Janice, I decided to check out this one hotel that I thought would be a great place to invite people for the next four nights in Paris. And it's in the sixth arrondissement. I hope I'm pronouncing it's in my most favorite spot. You know that it's in the oh. area. Yes. I then, love that area because I go to that area all the time. So I'm more familiar with that area. So oh, it's really the hotel well, was, was wonderful. Um I took a lot of pictures and videos of it. I Good. walked around the neighborhood, small, intimate restaurants, large ones with loud music and, and lights and everything you could imagine. It's like five feet away from uh, Preton and uh, the Gallery Lafayette. It's just it's just the most perfect place. And the hotel staff was amazing. Just amazing. So now, um, I'm not mistaken. How far is it from Galleries Lafayette? It's about a five minute walk. Okay. So that is right where the hop on hop off bus picks people up, drops them off. Right. So and and, the, and you perfect. had mentioned that the hop on hop off bus is be wonderful. Uh, so people can just see all sorts of things. And you had mentioned that it also included uh, going on the sin at night excuse my bad French, of uh, the river at night, and you, we can watch the Eiffel Tower light up. So um, I think that's a the great location. campaign. Yes, my favorite. You know, and, and enjoying time with, with women. You know, yes. it just seems like the older I get, uh, I guess because, I don't know, whatever. But it's just the older I get, I just love having more women friends, you know. Uh, so I just enjoy the idea of being around other women. Now I won't be with you the entire time, but right. you know, I will be with you most of the time. Exactly. And, uh, you know, because if you're going to be having fun, I want to be with you. you know, oh, absolutely. You people, I want to be there. And, um, and you'll meet, you'll have friendships. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll meet new friends. friends. Yeah. I mean, international travels definitely brings on friendships and allure. Yeah. And it just, it's magical. Oh, you're going to Givernay for a day. Full yes. Day. I have never been there as many times as I've been to Paris. I am so excited about that. Well, okay. Well, if you don't mind me going along, I'll go along and I'll be the photographer because I've been there twice, even okay. though I love yep. it. I'll just be the photographer and take people's pictures and that kind of thing. Yes. And I think one day doing the hop on, hop off bus and um, also uh, doing the river cruise at night and then, you know, seeing all those sites. They're coming in on the Saturday. OK. And I'm picking them up at the airport uh, and then I'll bring you into Fontainebleau. And then I'm just going to drop you off at the hotel and then she's going to have a champagne cocktail wine, Sorry. coffee, Constant. whatever you want to do, yes. get together, get to know everybody. 
and I'm going to scatter on back home because I have dogs to feed. So she can, you know, because that'd be the first time she's going to meet you. And then you have some goodie bags for them, right? Oh, absolutely. Okay. If someone is disabled, they're still able to go. Yes, absolutely. And, and we, but before they book that $500 deposit, call one of us and talk to us. Right. It's not that they will be discounted or can't go, but we just need to know the disability. Yeah, I um there's a lot of walking. I, yes. So when I went um to um I was with my daughter in Greece and I took her to Paris and then I came over and remet Janice. Um and a lot of pictures were taken of both of us and we were out. It was a gorgeous day. I had a cane. And I'm like, of course, people that have difficulty walking can definitely travel, you know, it's, it's, you know, this little more complicated to put in place, but everyone deserves to go on right. a lovely trip right. and to see things. Yeah. And We're I have noticed say, because I kind of looked at the yeah. competition and they're like, oh, well, you have to be this and you have to be that and you have to walk this many miles every day. And no, I mean, if people want to walk five miles and do that, oh, gosh, I applaud them. But if people want to sit and go to a museum and then go to the coffee shop and, and, you know, look over stuff, wonderful too. What we're, the heck? You're in Paris for Pete's sake. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's your magical trip. Okay. Um, all right. So tell them how to find out all about it. Well, if you go to Janice in France, there is a link dot com. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it should be all on the YouTube, on any YouTube that you do too. Right. There will be right. a, a banner at below, and you click on that, and it will you will come up with um it shows the pricing and it shows just a brief outline of the trip and what's involved with it. And there's a place where you can, if you have any questions, you can um, email me directly or you can email Janice and she'll forward it on to me. Okay. And, um, and then we'll go from there. Okay. And, and so today is the day, the launch day, February the 1st. So as soon as you get off here there will be a link below or somehow Mary Grace is going to do it. So you don't even have to go anywhere. The link will be right here and all they have to do is click it and they'll go to it and find out all the goodies that you're going to offer, the price. And I think they're going to be very surprised with the price. Very, yeah, surprised. It's very well priced. Very well priced. So anyway, thank you for doing this and thank you for including me in this. And, uh, Guys, if you have any questions about money or anything like that, let Elle know. If you want to talk about, you know, Fontainebleau or what's going on around here, let me know because I can't wait to show you where I shop, where I go grocery shopping, what I do, go take you to the market. I'm just going to have so much fun showing you around Fontainebleau. That's, okay. That's wonderful. I can't I think wait. You started something really great and I applaud you for doing this and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye. Au revoir, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed the clip of me and Elle talking on a Zoom call. And thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe. And I want to give a big shout out to Lisa, who had a win of the uh, Instagram uh, shopping trip I did the other day. I bought some groceries and I... Um, put them on Instagram and I ask anyone if they could figure out how much I paid for them in euros. And she was right on the dot. So big shout out to Lisa. And next week video is going to be about how to save money in France the old fashioned way. I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for joining me. As always, I love you. Mwah. Au revoir. A viento. Bonjour, this young man, and what is your pronoun? My name is Amadi. Amadi? My English is bad. Sorry. Oh, his English is very good. <laughs> and he's going to be on my Instagram, and he just subscribed to my channel. And I'm at the Chateau. And Amadi, what do you do here? Your security? Yes, security. Okay, he's security. Uh, and what time does it close? Uh, 17. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Five o'clock, okay. All right, I have you. I'm putting you on Instagram. Tell everybody goodbye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>